So with this year's episode of American Horror Story falling on Halloween, I think it was just incredibly appropriate to have it be a complete embrace of American Horror Story Apocalypse, Michael's character, and where he's going in this season. Let's discuss it. Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Enjoy the video. That's right guys, today we're going to be talking about episode 8 of American Horror Story Apocalypse. This one, even though a lot of stuff didn't really happen, I feel like it's setting us up, at least from the preview for next week, to something that's just building towards the end of the season. We've had our flashback episodes when it comes to Coven and Murder House. We've connected those seasons to what's going on in this season right now. And now it's time to actually tell that story. Let me just say the very first thing before I get into what happened in this episode, what I liked, what I disliked. I know a lot of people in the comment section below are talking about how they don't like this season. A great many of you don't like this season because it is really just Coven 2.0 or Murder House focused and it's not really focusing on what happened during or after the apocalypse. And I completely understand that. It's kind of weird to have the first three episodes in American Horror Story season just basically play out as a short story about what's going on in the overall scope of the season and then just have them go off on the rails and telling various other stories and trying to connect various other seasons. Yes, we've had various Easter eggs and nods to other seasons and other storylines in this grander universe over the past couple seasons, but this one especially feels a little bit weird, especially when the overall story, the title sake of this season has been largely ignored in order to make it, as I said last week, Coven 2.0. But with that being said though, we're finally getting back into what the apocalypse is all about and really trying our best to explore the characters that they've set up over the last couple of episodes. And honestly, I'm really enjoying what they've done this season because it's kept every single episode fresh. We don't know exactly where they're going with it. And there's just a ton of really interesting characters to explore in any given episode. I think that's one of the reasons this is probably the best season, at least since Coven, and I might even go as far as to say the best season since Asylum. But with that being said, let's jump right into what happened in this episode. Not a whole lot, honestly. In fact, I have to be the only one, or maybe I am the only one, who feels like having Michael just show up to the burn stake area where we left on the last episode after the entire episode kept him away from the proceedings like oh he's off doing his own thing he's off doing a journey with his father and everything else like that keeping him strategically away from the warlocks to miss mead and everyone else just so that the coven witches could burn everyone at the stake and set it up that michael is now all alone that was great and it's one of the things i was hoping this entire episode would be him just looking for answers instead of him just simply coming back and looking at these people burnt his, all of his allies and knowing that Miss Mead was taken out by the Coven Witches immediately at the very beginning of the episode as we have Cordelia tell him that they know who he is and they're going to be fighting him with all they got. Another thing I really don't like about Michael's character based off of what happened in this episode and basically the entire season thus far, even though Kathy Bates' Miss Mead was, as he said multiple times and even shown to us once or twice, his closest ally and the person he trusted the most, I feel like they've just heavy handedly over the last episode or two made it so Miss Mead is way more important to him than it really felt like over the first couple episodes of the season. Of course, I could be completely wrong about that and people could think of it or look at it completely differently because they have been at least since episode three showing us that Michael and Miss Mead are very close and he does trust and rely on her more than anyone else. So I guess that character motivation and that character relationship between Miss Mead and Michael has been earned over this season. I just wish that they had to spend a little bit more time with it, especially with how much that hurt him in this episode. But getting into that, him talking with Cordelia, you know, talking about all of his allies are dead and he has to face them alone. He swears that he's gonna get Miss Mead back some way, despite the fact that Cordelia has locked away her soul in a spell that he can't actually get to. And as they've shown us throughout the last part of the season, 
Michael can bring back almost anyone. This actually really hurts him. And then, for whatever reason, we go into Michael trying to get in touch with his father. I mean, I guess after this crisis that he's had, it makes total sense that he would be trying to get in touch with his father and talk to him in that way. But that's what he was supposed to be doing during the events of last week's episode. That's why when I made my prediction video, I was like, maybe we're going to see him go through that trial and tribulation and we're going to end with him realizing that everyone is dead or maybe put it in the middle and then he's going to search out the people in order to get Miss Mead turned into a robot. I mean, obviously that was super set up and obvious from the preview but that's not what we get he immediately realizes that miss mead is dead and then he goes searching for answers obviously he reaches as the preview showed us as the episode indicated the church of satan somewhere in the city after kind of trying to get his father's attention and not really being able to get in touch with him from there he kind of outs himself as being the antichrist everyone treats him as the coming of the apocalypse and their salvation at least in that regard and he as we've seen throughout the last couple episodes is completely unready for the trials and tribulations set before him and now that he's lost miss mead he doesn't know what to do fortunately the people that he comes across point him in the right direction a way of actually getting miss mead back and going to basically the silicon valley where he meets evan peter's character I don't really catch the names there. I mean, tell me in the comment section below if you got those guys' names, because I don't think they ever said them. I'm trying to keep all of the names in my head as I watch the episode. But Evan Peters' new character and Billy Itchner's character, completely new to the actual series. And at least as far as I'm concerned, maybe you guys saw this coming. I didn't see it coming. Miss Venable from the first three episodes of the season. This is going to really set up how we got to the very first part of the season. I really can't wait to see what they do with that. But just getting back to the story, these are two characters who have built their wealth and their company based around the Church of Satan and worshiping Satan as such. The funniest joke in the entire episode, even though a lot of this episode was pretty funny, was the whole, we get Ryan Reynolds on Sundays, we get Ryan Reynolds on Thursdays or something else like that. At first I thought it was a joke, but they kept saying it. It kind of makes it feel like it was true, at least in this world. So I have to say that was pretty funny, at least in my opinion. But no, I like the idea that we're building to something here. I like the idea that we're finally allowing the apocalypse story itself to actually play out in a way where it's like, okay, we're no longer focusing on the coven witches. We're no longer focusing on the murder house. We are trying to focus on Cody Ferns, Michael Langdon's character because it's time. I mean, we only have two episodes left until this season is actually done with, and we need to get to where we were in those first three episodes. So the very fact that they were able to anchor an entire episode on Michael's character, at least in my opinion, was a really good sign especially when it was probably one of the better episodes of the season at least in my opinion that and you know i would be lying if i said that i didn't actually think that they could do that based off of everything we've seen over the last couple episodes i mean they really did jump the shark from doing the apocalypse episodes in the very first three episodes of the season and then jumping and relying so heavily on the coven witches and murder house over the last couple weeks i was feeling like okay there's not a whole lot of character development they can do with michael they're just going to quickly jump into like how the apocalypse happened and how he actually won the first round of this fight and then we're going to go straight into the climax of the story that when based off knowledge of all the other seasons of American Horror Story you kind of understand that it's going to have somewhat of a happy ending if it has an ending at all so I like the fact that they're hinging a lot on that I like the idea that they have Michael going to the Church of Satan looking for answers from mortal beings I feel like that in and of itself, with all of the comparisons they were making between Michael and Jesus and the journeys they went through in order to get the answers and the salvation of the people who actually believe in the message that they're supposed to be bringing in the human world and everything they did there, I like the idea that Michael goes to this church and is starting to get an idea or at least understand what he has to do, not simply from talking to his father, but instead focusing on what the humans actually interpret his coming to mean. Maybe he finds answers there, maybe he does get a chance to talk to his father, but I think this is going to be him deciding. As Cordelia told him at the very beginning of the episode, you need to make your choice, and he's going to make his choice based on everything that anyone in his life has actually told him. The very fact that Miss Mead tried to raise him, the very fact that his grandmother and his mother, as he said in this episode, 
try to kill him and the fact that his father won't talk to him is something that is going to push him towards the people who want to see him destroy the world and he could have been a completely different person. It does seem like he has a chance to decide and over the next episode or two, we're going to be focusing on a Michael who is becoming more and more inclined to believe the people who worship and treat him as a god and what they want from him in order for him to actually make the decision. Of course, the other big thing here is Miss Venable. How is her character going to be mixed up in all of this? How are they going to set that up, especially with the Miss Mead robot? The very fact that they didn't meet in this episode, the very fact that Michael and her hadn't met during the first three episodes of the season, obviously huge indicator of what's coming in the next couple episodes of this season but this was a perfect night halloween night to actually focus and show us that the american horror story apocalypse characters and idea can survive on its own and we don't need to overly focus on this being coven season two or murder house mixed with coven or anything else like that this episode shows the fan base that this isn't just a crossover season these characters work on their own behalf, and it's one of the better episodes of the season. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Tell me in the comment section below. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night. Hope everyone had a fantastic Halloween. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. And if you want to talk about American Horror Story, any horror movie, franchise or television show or any anime or box office numbers or anything else like that then make sure to go follow me on twitter because i'm always on there and able to talk to you guys i hope everyone's having a fantastic day it's been real